An extension for your dinosaur resource pack is the creation of a volcano. To do this, we are going to begin by making salt dough. I have here two cups of flour and I will add one cup of table salt. I will mix the dry ingredients together and create a well in the center of the dry ingredients. To this I'm going to add about half a cup of warm water. I have a little more here, I'm just going to take it slowly. The salt in the dough will absorb the water and it's also a preservative. So this is a very simple dough that you can use to make three-dimensional models, maps, and various other things like that. After you've added half a cup of water and mixed, you'll find that since you need a fairly firm dry dough, you may end up having to use your hands to mix in the last of the flour in your container. So what you have here is a very dry dough. And I'm going to use this now to create my volcano. For the center of my volcano, I'm using a recycled bottle and I'm simply going to press my dough around my bottle. This is not an instant gratification exercise. The dough will take at least 24 hours to dry. And now I'm just going to apply a little bit of paint to my volcano to give it a naturalistic appearance. I'm choosing brown, red and orange to paint my volcano. We've made our salt dough volcano and now we're getting ready for the eruption. I have my bicarb of soda, my food colouring, my dish detergent and my white vinegar, which I'm now going to transfer into my jug. I'll begin by placing some spoonfuls of bicarb in the vent. My jar was quite deep, so I'm using quite a lot of bicarb. A couple of drops of dish so, some yellow and some red. Remember, you need a tray with edges to contain the explosion. I'm adding. The vinegar and the bicarbonate of soda create a reaction that makes carbon dioxide. And this copies what happens within the volcano when an eruption occurs with the buildup of gas and pressure that forces the magma to the surface and as it flows out it becomes lava.